Hi. Hi. Do you still recall your first meeting? You mean Henry? Henry? Yeah. Uh, um, kind of rough, roughly, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if it was the first time, but it, we, we had friends in common. We lived in the same part of London. Where? In, uh, in the north, northwest of London. What zone? What? What zone? What zone? Yeah. Uh, like Camden. Camden? Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't remember exactly, but I remember, I remember Henry coming up to me in the street and he had these head, headphones with this big orange foam. And he, uh, and he was like, hey, listen to this. And he was playing me some old kind of soul tune. From yeah. what, some, something that I'd never heard that I really liked. And then we just started talking about music. And, and then we started hanging out just, just through, really through, through kind of both being interested in music. And he was like, come over, listen to some records. And then he would come to my place and we would get stoned and listen to like music. And then I'd start playing him kind of like fusion records. And then he'd, he'd what? kind of like, he'd go a bit of... pale. Yeah. And he'd be like, I, I, I've got to go now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what fusion record? Like nothing too heavy, just like some Herbie Hancock records okay. or something, or Weather Report or something I was yeah. listening to. Like I'd borrowed some records off a, off an older guy that I knew and he was really into weather report and stuff and I was just looking for breaks, you know, for like things to, you know, like hip hop kind of breaks yeah. to, and, uh, but I'd, I'd leave them on and then it would get heavy and Henry would be like, no, 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 hang on, I've got to go, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I would go because he, he was really more into the... He was just into like soul, yeah. he was into soul music, yeah. And when did the, um, the actual music... Like make year, it? years later, years you know, a long time later, yeah. He, and he, how, how? He had a job in a in a recording studio, and he called Michi Michi Mouse. Yeah, yeah, Mickey yeah. Mouse place. And Mickey. he called me. Um, he just called me one day and said, "Look, there's a job going here. You want? Do you want to have an interview?" Because he knew I was interested in getting into studio work. And uh, I was like, "Yeah, you know, I'd love to." And also to to work in a place where you have a friend, you know, that would be cool. And so I got the job, and then we were working in the same place, and then we started to talk about actually making music, you know, just playing around with the, the equipment that was being used at the time, like the first kind of samplers and se like Atari sequences and stuff. And what sort of uh, bands did you work for? Um, well, in, in there, you know, it's a commercial, it's a, okay. a big commercial studio, so one week they say, okay, you're doing this session or I mean, some, sometimes people come in for one day just to record a string section or something. Other times you get on a session on an album for months. So it could be anything, you know, it's really completely different. A lot of guitar bands would come in to lay down, you know, to track stuff with, with the whole band. And then you'd have kind of more electronic sort of poppy stuff in the other room where they're just mixing. And so it was real, it was interesting, you know, it was a real variation of stuff.